Hey guys, back with another tutorial here. This one um, and such hasn't been requested directly in a way, but uh, through my forum and lots of songs I get sent every day, um, uh, one thing that I think could help is, and I've talked about it I think once or twice on my Facebook page, but um, people say that they want their tracks to sound fuller. It just sounds like there's too much empty space. So what I will show you is um, how I do it with my tracks. And I'm just in the process now of just making a track. And I will, this is one that I've just made. And I will show you how I've done it. And it's just basically atmosphere. So what I've done is I've got three samples. They're from a Vengeance pack. And uh, lots of packs these days anyway have uh, a folder called Atmosphere. And all I did was I just listened to different samples. And all I do is I listen to the whole sample from start to beginning. And I don't use the whole sample. I just cut little sections of this atmosphere out and then I loop them. And I'll show you that in a second. But um, what I'll do is I'll just turn them up so you can hear them because obviously they're really quiet in the mix. So I'll just turn them up. And okay, so this one here, I'll show them individually. You can see this is hopefully, well, hopefully this is coming through on one side of your speaker. This is the EQ. You can see it's... The, all the low ends have take that, been taken out, and uh, same with the high end. And this one has some side chain on it. And then this one here, pretty similar EQ. And this one's obviously on the other side of the speaker. And then this one is straight down the middle. Like a little swell in it. And I'll play them all together. This is them turned up. This is not how loud they are in the mix. Okay, so that is my atmosphere. Now you need to be careful with some samples because some of them actually have a tone, so you know they'll actually need to be put in key to the song you're making. This one here, I'm getting away with it because it doesn't really have much of a tone, and of course it's played solo in the mix. It's just it's just there. It's just there. So it doesn't, you know, the actual loop or you your chorus doesn't quite sound so empty which um, which I don't really like the sound of so and this is if I just pull these out here using this super cool feature of the mighty logic okay if I pull them out that's exactly how the samples started so and if you compare it to these you know these blue patches here all I've done is I've just chopped out the start of that sample chopped out the start of that sample and this one here you know, I've, I've chopped out the very start of the sample. So if I just s so zoom in there, you know, this part that I've got is tiny. There's only a tiny bit of sound and only a little bit of audio. I didn't worry about the rest of this and the rest of this. Okay, you can see here all I've done is I've used the starting of those samples and I've just looped them like so. And I'll... Um, I'll play them in the track. Well, I just got to turn them back down though, if I can remember what they were. I think 26, something like that. Cool. Right, I'll play them. Um, I'll play them through into the drop here. Now, this second section here, from 53 to 57, that's probably where you'll hear it better because I think somewhere down there there's like a little white noise, so it's a bit hard to tell. But in this six, in this second section, you might be able to hear it. Okay, so not sure if you could hear, but in a way, you're not meant to be able to really hear it. It's just you're not you, you just don't want to hear that complete silence. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I'll bounce that down into one audio file, and then I'll be super cool. Put it on my Ryan NZ page, um, which you should like anyway. Well, I think you have to like it to download it, which isn't a bad thing because you know, if you like me then you get my status updates and I'll put some more free stuff. It's all good. Like it. So it'll be there and you can download it and you can use it in your own songs. 
and um, yeah, it's really good. Just put that over any section, and it just gets rid of that horrible silence that you know it sounds really bad. So, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, I'll be back with more free tutorials. Thanks, guys.